What is up everybody? It is Wick here. We're doing the I-127 yard sales today. If you're not familiar with those, it's the yard sales on I-127 that go from Michigan down to Alabama somewhere, I believe. Tons of sales. You get on there and you just start running into sales. It's pretty much unending, it feels like. And we're at this sale now looking for some stuff that we can flip on eBay, Amazon, FBA, Macari, Poshmark, any of those places. Looking to find some rare items, hopefully. Looking for video game stuff. I collect the old stuff. So always looking for that. And just always excited to find video game stuff in general because it's so hard to find anymore. And we've been having a great year with video games. And guess what? We found some good stuff today as well. So we're looking in this trailer now, trying to find something. And uh, empty cases, some cheap plastic eagles. Uh, some tool type stuff, not really interested in. And I see this Tasmanian Devil, and I'm like, what is this thing? It's kind of unique. I see one of the pencils says Toshiba on it, and I'm thinking, is this like a promotional thing for a laptop? Uh, first thing that popped in my mind is a pencil sharpener. So I paid a dollar for that, and I think I can make some money on it. Very good condition. So I grabbed that. Uh, this sale, I always seem to show up at this sale when I come to these because it's so big it's right there in the way you can't miss it unfortunately they don't have a lot of good stuff at this particular sale i shouldn't say that they have good stuff just not for resellers i don't know if they're actually resellers or what uh but yeah a lot of stuff's priced too high some of it's just not good in terms of uh priced to resell so we got some media here uh dvds a dollar that's fair that's a good price if you're looking for them I'm looking for the seasons, I'm looking for things that are sealed, and uh, I did not end up seeing any of that. Got some 8-tracks there, and uh, nothing good. We got the DVD set over there of Star Trek Voyager. I think that guy was pretty interested in it, but I think it was $30 for that. So not a whole lot of money to be made, if any, there. And on this table, we got some boots. I don't think they're anything special. Some books. Again, nothing special, but check out these Lego display cases. Looks like they come from a store, almost certainly. Uh, still got some Legos in there, $40 a piece. I've seen these before at this sale. Uh, I've been coming to this sale for about six, seven years now. Uh, Mickey Mouse phone, $35. Not worth picking up because they only sell for around $50 on eBay. So we just move on. Nothing there. And look at this, some hats. I ended up picking up one hat. Felt something touch my toe. <laughs> it was a little dog. <laughs> um, I'm glad I didn't step on it. I didn't see it there. Um, probably should have it inside with the garage sales going on. Um, but yeah, some toys. Uh, empty table. We got a Apple TV third generation for $25. I think it was not worth picking up. It's the older generation. I think it's up to fifth or sixth now. Uh, even then, if $25, I'm not sure would be a good pickup. Some loose toys. I didn't see anything special in there. You got some children's toys. Again, I didn't see anything special. And that was kind of the theme of the garage sales. I went to probably 15 or more yard sales, only finding that Tasmanian devil. And I just expected that it was going to be one of those days where I didn't find anything. And I wasn't going to be able to, you know, upload a video because I don't want to upload a video where I, you know, find like one item, right? Uh, but last like 10 sales or so um <laughs> that it turned around and i started sc scoring some amazing items uh we're at this sale it's one of those victor like little calculator things you see those a lot at flea markets there's a guy getting a bunch of new propane uh, it's probably a good deal some of this stuff at this sale was priced okay got some christmas items here look like some of them were vintage a lot of people's been leaving in the comments some good christmas items for me to keep an eye out for i appreciate that uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't know what to really look for, uh, unless it's old and vintage. Um, so, yeah, any information I can get on that stuff, I'm not too familiar with, I'll take it. There's some filing cabinets, certainly not interested in those. Uh, we got some cassette tapes in a box. I like digging through these. Sometimes a video game could be thrown in there. Uh, sometimes you get those, like, uh, C tapes, uh, what are they, Max, Max L makes them. Um, converts them to VHS. Uh, those things can be like a hundred bucks if you happen to find one new. And we'll get uh, more hats here. Unfortunately, no good hats there either. Uh, I think the one hat I picked up, I wasn't recording. I ended up maxing out my memory card. I got about 30 minutes um, doing 4K footage. 
So yeah, a lot of these sales, um, I just didn't find much. We just kept hitting them. I kept recording. I'm like, come on, where's the goods at? There's got to be some stuff here. Uh, <laughs> all these sales, just pretty much every corner there were sales. There's just so many people hitting them. And a lot of them probably started earlier in the week because some of these sales can start Monday or Tuesday. Um, they don't wait for the official I-127 sales to start. Uh, look at these jackets, uh, the Colts thing there, nothing special. Uh, over here, uh, what are we looking at now? Just kind of browsing around. I see these Pokemon battle style. I thought they were going to be the cards. Unfortunately, just the empty boxes. I could have picked up the empty boxes, but they were only 50 cents and I don't really collect Pokemon cards anyway. So where are we at now? top of matic I picked up some of those at Goodwill recently. Kind of regret it. Uh, mostly because I don't know how to test them because they're to make cigarettes. So here's the second item I picked up of the day, I think. This uh, Polo Sport kind of messenger bag uh, wallet for 50 cents. These things be pretty good money. Polo Sport, uh, especially the vintage stuff. I think it might all be vintage at this point. I'm not sure if they still make that stuff new or not. Uh, but yeah, especially the yellow colored items I feel like are worth more money. Here's a Verizon phone uh, like a flip phone some of these are actually worth picking up not when they're open like that one had the serial number scratched out at this sale we're looking through some media here i could have picked up that blank vhs i didn't i don't know why uh, i usually buy them and bundle them i just didn't feel like dealing with it it's kind of deflated actually going to all these sales there's a playstation game it wasn't worth picking up uh, asked about games at a lot of sales they told me they had just sold games uh PlayStation Wii, this woman told me that she just sold a Wii and a bunch of games for, I think she said $27. She gave the guy a good deal. Uh, and I'm like, oh no, everyone's already got there. It's getting later in the morning. Um, <laughs> you know, you get that feeling sometimes. And I always have to tell myself not to give up. That sounds really corny right now, right? Like, Don't give up. You got to keep going if you want to find the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of true. Uh, I get deflated and then I find stuff and it just ch it just changes around. VTech for $50, uh, that doesn't change anything. Uh, but I did end up finding a little corner uh, eventually where uh, no one was really going to. Um, it was off, there's like three houses and I started finding some stuff after that. Here we are digging in a box. Uh, I got some remotes and stuff, some random wires. You see these a lot at yard sales, $5 for the whole box. Uh, you know what? I don't want to mess with it for five dollars. Uh, remotes weren't anything special. If they were for the combo units I buy, I would have probably paid five dollars for that box and just threw most of it away for the remotes. A little TV. There's a skip bow. I thought that was a phase 10 dice at first. I always get those confused when I see them. Uh, what do we got here? Some know, little coolers. Oh, I saw this. I rushed over here. Because I saw on the tape it said Nintendo Nintendo games $5. I'm like, oh, this is people miss this. They didn't know there's games in here. Yeah, then I reread it and it said Nintendo game case or something like that. And I'm like, wow, I'm really hungry right now. Really just wanting to find something. I'm seeing things. Uh, yeah, just an empty DS case. But I get to the sale where no one has been yet. <laughs> and I find this Wii uh and there's a wii sports there's zelda twilight princess up there i ended up getting it for 25 dollars, and i'm like you know what i bet this next sale is going to have something and i get in there and look sure enough i expected it i i found this i'm like of course of course there's a you know glacier nintendo game boy advance sitting there for five dollars where's the games and then i find this nintendo um ds Cobalt? Did I call the last thing a DS? Game Boy Advance is what that was. This is a DS. Uh, $10, which is a pretty good price. And no games. I asked the lady if she had games for these things. She said they sold them last year or something. I don't know. Unfortunate. Come over here. Uh, spot something. thought this was another DS at first. A little voice recorder for $0.75. Cents. Some of the Sony ones are good. I'm sure RCA is not that good. I picked it up for $0.75. Cents. There's an iPhone 4. Really good condition, $5. A lot of times those are locked, uh, but still can be worth picking up. People buy them and they use them for all kinds of things. So I grabbed it for $5. Oh, then we're at this sale. What are we looking for? Hey, an actual phase 10 dice here with phase 10 combined. I've never seen this before. 
So I'll grab that. Uh, I think I ended up paying like 50 cents for that. And there's some plush here. Some Cabbage Patch Kids, which I don't like buying. Most of them aren't worth really picking up. Uh, some Trolls. Uh, I did end up getting the Cabbage Patch Kids because they were fairly priced fairly good. I got the Troll. Some of the Trolls, the dogs have chewed up, so I passed on those. Got some good vintage clothing here. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, right when things are turning around, I'm running out of camera space. So yeah, uh, what else we got here? Anything else? Some power tools. And we got some dishes here at this sale. Here's a, some pretty good stuff. I grabbed this, these calculators, a weather station, some of these gnomes. Uh, but yeah, I ended up finding um, all together some great items. Let me show you everything I picked up. It's time to go over the haul. And uh, honestly, I thought it was going to be one of those days where I did not find enough stuff to really make a video. But we ended up scoring in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I'm going to show you everything I picked up. We got some stuff on this table. Not everything would fit. So I'll go over this stuff first and put the rest of the stuff on the table. Uh, I stopped at the yard sale and I got this forecast station. <laughs> it was only $2. I was surprised. You can see the tag down there. Um, there's some listed for $70, but the comps are showing $40 in that area on eBay. So definitely grabbed that. I picked up some calculators. TI-84+, plus, TI-83+, plus, great calculators. I just sold a... 84 plus for $60 on Amazon. It's that time of year where back to school is happening and people need these for classes. They are going down in value over the years, but still great to pick up, especially when you're getting them for $4 a piece. I'm not sure, actually not sure what I paid for this one. I paid $4 for this one as well. So that's fine. This one's a, a school property one, uh, which you see from time to time. Uh, still going to make some good money. I'll probably sell that one on eBay, you know, for 40 bucks and probably about 30 for the TI-83+. plus. There's also this Batman handheld tiger game, and I love finding these things because they're so nostalgic to me. I remember saving up allowances, uh, going to Kmart so I could pay $30 for these pieces of garbage. I always thought they were going to be so fun to play, and I got them home, and they were just awful. Uh, I fell for it about twice and then gave up on them, but anytime I see them, it's just nostalgic. $0.75 cents for the Batman the Animated Series. I saw a comp. One of these sold for $39.99. Some more in the 20s. I'm going to price this $40 and just let it sit. I have no problem holding this for as long as it takes to sell because it's small. And, you know, I kind of want to just hold on to it. And I also picked up these gnomes. I can't even remember now what the, the maker is. It was Thomas something. I did a quick eBay search and it was sunny. Couldn't really see the comps very well, but I saw that a couple of these sold for like 90 There's one that sold for 100 So I went ahead and just like, I'm just going to buy these. I... I I see a lot of them selling in the 20s, so I don't think I'll lose money. I've yet to fully research to see if any of these are special, uh, but I'm thinking, you know, minimum, this is around $20 a piece. They were different prices. I think the most I paid was $6.50 uh, for the two big ones, and then the rest were like $3 to $4. Well, so I paid $6 for that one. Not sure why that one was $6. Uh, yeah, this one was three. Some of them they wrote signed on there. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or if they're actually, like, I don't think they're actually signed. It's just made like that. But I didn't want to leave them there. I didn't want to sit and try to research them, so I just bought them. There's also some great mugs, Irish mugs there I could have bought and made some money on. I just didn't want to deal with them. Uh, the money wasn't great, and I hate dealing with breakables. I mentioned that many times before. That's why I pa pass up a lot of the the dishes and glassware and stuff like that. Also, I think these are kind of cool. I might keep this one. I really like that one right there, but I'll figure it out and put it on the screen. Pick up this Polo Sport wallet, 50 cents. Pick up the Polo Sport stuff because it does fairly well. There's actually a comp. One of these sold for $40, it looked like. Uh, and another one in the 20s. There was only two that I could find on eBay. Again, this is something I'm going to price up and I think I'm going to make some money on it. Picked up this DeKalb hat. Uh, not in great condition. It was only 50 cents. Uh, but surprisingly, some of this stuff is worth money. Especially the ones with the patch. It's a K Products hat, which is a good vintage brand to look for. They made some of the John Deere hats that can be worth good money. I saw some like this with the actual patch on there, like a white patch with the label, selling for around $50, $60. We'll just have to see how good I can clean it up. And, you know, I think it eventually... I'll get about 20 bucks at least profit in this. Just grab this Dub City because it was cheap, 50 cents. You know, I'll be able to sell it for about $15. Same with this, um, around $17. I paid $2 for that one. Just bought it, it was brand new sealed. Paid a dollar for this Sony answering machine. Just picked up one of these at a rummage sale. 
uh, two or three weeks ago. They sell on Amazon for about $35, $40 pre-owned. I grabbed these Doc Martin shoes, um, Monk Strap, $5. They are in very good condition. Looks like they were never worn. There's a Dillard's shoe label on there for $90, I guess $90. Maybe someone paid for these. Look like though, a pair sold for about $50. There's a little, if I can get it in the light, a little nick there that I think will clean out with some of the Doc Martens shoe paste stuff. I don't know what it's called. I also picked up these New Balance shoes. Unfortunately, they wrote on the box. They're brand new with tags. Uh, 4E wide, great size. And I should be able to sell these for probably price them about $50 plus shipping. Probably won't sell them with the box because they wrote on it here and here and it's not going to be i'm not going to be able to get that out and make it look good i could cut it out i guess but you know i'll just not sell them in the box it's easier to ship them without the box anyway i grabbed this tasmanian pencil sharpener toshiba uh, it was a dollar and i said why not that's got to sell for something one sold for 25 and one sold for about 25 plus shipping so i'll probably price it about 25 plus shipping here is the rest of the stuff and we will start with this wii over here i picked up awesome find it even came with uh zelda twilight princess and wii sports 25 dollar game 30 dollar game you got the system, you got two controllers, you even got the, the battery charger energizer thing, a few attachments. So you know what? This is going to be some great profit in all of this once it's all said and done. I ended up getting it for $25. Video game finds have just been great this year. I'm still a little salty about not finding any Genesis, Super Nintendo, or regular Nintendo stuff because that's really what I want. But you can't complain based on everything I've found this year. Game Boy Advance, Glacier. I feel like this is like the third one of these I've got this year, right? Definitely four or five, six Game Boy Advances, SPs, and uh, the normal ones here. $5, and you know what? These sell for about $60, $65. We also got a DS Lite Cobalt Blue. I feel like I found one of these this year, the Cobalt Blue ones. I know I found a red DS. $10 is what I paid for this. Last I remember, they sold in the 60s. I'm not sure if they still do. It's a popular color, though. It's got the charger in there as well. Very happy to find this Phase 10 dice bonus pack with the Phase 10 game. I've mentioned this in multiple videos. The Phase 10 dice is a bolo. It's worth a good money. I just sold a Phase 10. I think I got about $40 for it on eBay. Never found the bonus pack with the Phase 10 card. So, you know, minimum, I'm selling this for $40. I, I think I got it for like 50 cents. Grab this iPhone 4. The lady told me it worked a lot of times these things end up locked if you don't have the passcode uh, there's ways to get around that plus people still buy them on ebay so i went ahead and just paid the five dollars um you know what i think it sells for maybe 25 30 bucks i can sell it for in this condition and then for 75 cents i just grabbed this rca digital voice recorder Figured why not, it's probably not worth much. I couldn't find any comps on Amazon or eBay anywhere. Uh, so this is something I'll probably just price about 15 bucks. Again, 75 cents, you're gonna make some pretty good profit on it. Here's a great find, this cross stitch quilt. Paid $8 for this, brand new sealed. And some of these, not this exact one because it wasn't listed, but some of the other quilts similar were selling $80, $95 on eBay. I'm probably gonna price this about $75 plus shipping. Great little pickup here. I got some Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't like picking these up. Uh, most of them aren't really worth a whole lot, but there was three of them here. I got them cheap. I don't know what the total was, but I'm just gonna allow all three together. Uh, maybe just do an auction. Uh, I think the bald one, or one of them, I, I did a quick look up. It looked like it was sold for like $20, but I don't know. If I price all three of these $30 plus shipping, I'm making money, so that's good for me. I think this troll back here, Pirate Troll, it's got the eye patch, it looks like it's come up but uh, I should be able to sell this for about $20. There's some other trolls I was gonna buy with the clothing. Those are usually pretty good, but yeah, dog would shoot them up. And then finally, let's go over these vintage clothing items I picked up real quick. I paid quarter and 50 cents. I don't think I paid over that for these. 1998, good guys, Southeastern Nationals. Didn't see this shirt on eBay, but some of them was actually selling for $20, $30. So I just grabbed it because it was a quarter, I think. That one might have been 50 cents. This one was a quarter. Cleveland Browns, he won't sit, he won't beg. The Dog Pound shirt, vintage, I believe 1990. Some of these Dog Pound shirts are really good. They can go $50, $60. Again, I didn't see this design on eBay anywhere when I looked. So yeah, I'll probably price this about $40 and somebody will probably buy it. Then we got a Champion Ohio State 1997 Rose Bowl. Not reverse weave, unfortunately. Uh, we got some Final Four Ohio State stuff here. 1999 Jansport. All these look like they've 
they're unworn. I paid 50 cents for these. 1997, another Rose Bowl, Ohio State sweatshirt. This stuff sells, you know, probably 30 bucks for these in the condition they're in. They just move. For that stack of clothing, you know, for what I paid for it, it's going to be great profit. There it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I'm so happy I ended up finding some stuff because I'm, I'm recording all this footage. I'm not finding anything. And I said, you know what? This is going to be a very boring video if I don't find some stuff. I'm going to have to just scrap it all. And then like the last 10 sales I went to, I was just finding stuff after stuff. Just goes to show you, you cannot give up when you're doing this. Even if I didn't find anything that whole day, you know, next time I may find a lot of stuff. Before you go, hit that like button for me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.